How's it going YouTube? Chris here with my home theater. Got a brand new video for you this morning. As I was thinking about this year drawing to a close, and I know a few other YouTubers have done it, I figured I would do my top 10 uh, favorite, my best, these are my picks, uh, the top 10 4K UHD releases of this year. So I really wanted to do that and uh, and I, I'll show these movies, and they're in no particular order. I didn't do from worst to best. I mean, I, I kind of like all movies, but I really wanted to do my top 10. These are uh, top 10 uh, of just my favorite releases, and uh, man, we, we'll, we'll go ahead and get right into it. Uh, the first movie that I wanted to show is uh, Terminator Dark Fate. I really enjoyed this movie. Um, as far as sound and picture, Man, the picture is crisp. It looks good to me. I really enjoyed it. The sound, man, it'll give your system a workout for the subs and everything. And uh, man, I'm telling you, I, I had to put this in the top 10 because uh, like I say, I think it deserved to be a top 10 release. Uh, like I say, there's no particular order on these, but this is just how I, I picked them out. But uh, man, Terminator Dark Fate, if you hadn't uh, bought it, if you hadn't uh, watched it, man, really, uh, I think you would really enjoy it. So I would I would pick this up, try it out on your system, maybe give it a good workout. So uh, Terminator Dark Fate is one of them I really enjoyed this year. Man, I'm gonna tell you something. This is one of my favorite movies. I really enjoyed this. And this is Ford versus Ferrari. Man, I'm telling you, it's an absolute good movie. And the picture quality, the way they shot the movie, I, I, I enjoyed it. I think it deserved to be in the top 10 also. Uh, the sound of this movie, man, when they driving these cars and when they going around the track and stuff, man, it is just absolutely wonderful. And uh, I, I think it deserved to be in a, in a top 10. And uh, man, just, just a great movie, good story. A lot of, it's uh, based on a true story. You know, they always put their, Hollywood puts their spin on it, but man, really enjoyed this movie. Uh, sounds great, looks great. It, 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 I think it deserves to be in anybody's collection. So if you hadn't checked that out, get that out. That's that's part of my top 10 there. All right, next one that I got is uh, Midway. <laughs> this movie is awesome. And uh, uh, like I say again, the picture quality, I think it had a very good picture, uh, but the sound, oh my goodness. You talking about giving your system a workout, this one will give you a workout. Doing any of the battle scenes, uh, man, I'm telling you, the, the planes buzzing around and shooting bullets whizzing past you, dropping the bombs, explosions. Man, I'm telling you, it will shake your room. It'll shake your house. Uh, Midway was an awesome movie, uh, and I and I and I really enjoyed it. So, uh, man, it deserves to be in anybody's collection. And uh, man, I'm telling you, awesome movie, awesome. Movie. Really enjoyed that. Uh, man, the next next one that I got. <laughs> Man, been waiting on this for a long time. I know some of you guys have been waiting on it too. And that is Blade 4K. Man, it, it is a cult classic to me. This right, this movie, uh, when Marvel put this movie out, this movie saved that company, Marvel. I'm telling you, that it is just a fantastic movie. Cult classic, whatever you want to call it. Wesley Snipes. Uh, man, he is Blade. I know uh, they, got, they got a new person playing it now. And I think you'll do a good job. But man, I'm telling you, the original Blade, this movie is fantastic. They did a good job in restoration of this movie, putting it on 4K. Soundtrack is fantastic. Man, if you're a fan of Marvel, if you're a fan of Blade, vampire movies, this movie is just, it's, it's awesome. And uh, man, it, it, that definitely made my top 10 uh, 4K UHDs this year. So yeah, I, I'd, I'd pick that up if you hadn't already done so. Uh, Next, next movie that I, uh, that I picked out, I'm just, I was undecided when I was talking about this movie and it's New Mutants. I know this movie had a lot of production problems and uh, it was supposed to come out in 2018. It didn't come out to this year. Uh, so I was kind of apprehensive about it, but I like movies. Uh, I like Marvel movies. Uh, I like the Fox Marvel. I, li I like all, all those types of superhero movies. So I picked it up, and I'm going to tell you something, I was not disappointed. Uh, the picture quality of this film is good. It is really good. Uh, but the but the sound, man, I'm telling you, the sound was just amazing. My daughter loves this movie, 
I think they did a good job on it, but the sound, man, she was watching this thing and I was in the house and I, I thought, I thought a plane had crashed or something. It was just a large explosion. She had the theater cranked up. She didn't realize she had it that loud. Uh, and I come running out here to see what was going on, but, but it was this movie. It is, it is a good movie. I liked it personally. Uh, picture quality, sound quality is amazing. Uh, man, I'm telling you, if, if, if if you like these type of movies, I definitely suggest picking this up. It definitely made my top 10. Just, just a fantastic movie. Uh, I, I was impressed. Uh, next movie. Uh, also, it took me a while to find this movie. Uh, I don't I don't order a whole lot of movies. I don't pre-order a lot. I just kind of go to the stores and find them. So it took me a while to find it. Uh, I had been anticipating getting this one, and this was 300. Man, this is a fantastic movie. A lot of people complain about how the picture looked. That's how they shot it. So I, I, I think it had a good picture quality, but the sound, oh my goodness, the sound was just, it was fantastic. All those arrow shooting, the battle scenes, the ambience and stuff of the film, man, I, it, it, was, it was a fantastic movie. I could not get away with not picking this for my top 10 for this year. And uh, man, I'm telling you, if you hadn't watched it, if you hadn't bought it, I highly suggest this movie if you like these type of movies. I, I put this in the, in the same categories like uh, Gladiator, which is a fantastic movie. Also, uh, the movie Troy, which I love. I wish they would do a 4K release of that. Uh, but yeah, 300 is a great film. I highly suggest picking that movie up. Now we're going to get into some, some, some uh, box sets. And uh, man, I, I was anticipating this one. And when it came out, I, I, I ran out and I picked it up. And this is, this is the uh, Resident Evil 4K box set. I know it's more than one movie, but I'm telling you, this, they did a fantastic job on this. I enjoyed uh, each and every one of these. And I highly suggest to anybody that likes uh, Resident Evil, Mila Jonovich, I'm telling you, she, 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 she did a good job uh, playing the role. Uh, they did a fantastic job on 4K. And the sound is is awesome. Every, every single film is just it's, it's breathtaking as far as pitch quality and the sound. And uh, man, I'm telling you, if, if you like these type of movies, man, look at that. It's, it's, it's pretty cool right there, the way they did that. But uh, man, great, great uh, box set. I really like it. And uh, man, I highly recommend picking up this box set if you hadn't already got it. It made my top 10 because I, I really enjoyed that. And the next one, uh, man, I know everybody had been anticipating this and they probably sold 500 million copies of this and that's the Back to the Future trilogy on 4K. Man, I'll tell you, I, 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 I had all these movies on, on VHS, DVD, uh, Blu-ray, and now I got them on 4K and uh, I'm telling you, they did a fantastic job. These, these are these were some of my favorite movies as I was growing up as a kid uh, back in the 80s. And uh, man, just I just could not wait till they come out on 4K. Uh, the the Blu-ray was really good at what I have, but this is a definite upgrade. Uh, the sound, it sounds good. that You can still tell it's, you know, an older type film sound, but still they did a great job on this. And it made my top 10 list because this is <laughs> this is a classic. All three films are good. So uh, th th this 4K release right here, this box set, it definitely made my, my top 10 list. Now, the next two is, is another uh, couple set of movies. I, 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 a uh, couple of box sets, I'm sure they sold just, I don't know how many copies of these they sold. But it had to be a lot, about like the Back to the Futures, and that was the Hobbit trilogy on 4K. Absolutely, um, these, these are probably the, uh, 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 the star of my collection, uh, The Hobbit, and the next one I'll get to, and I think you're probably already figuring out what they are. Man, I had these on Blu-ray. Uh, I had them on DVD. Uh, I had them on, uh, I still have these on uh, Blu-ray 3D, and they are awesome. And that's a good way to watch these films. But this 4K with the Dolby Atmos soundtrack is almost second to none on these Hobbit movies. They are fantastic. See, it definitely made, if I had to pick uh, a top two in my top 10, this would be this would, this would be number two right here. Uh, but like I said, I picked them in no particular order, 
But, uh, man, the Hobbit trilogy, I know a lot of you guys probably have it. And, uh, man, if you if you don't have it and you really like these films, I highly suggest picking these up because these are, these, are, these are breathtaking and they're awesome. So now for the last one, this is the number 10, and I think you already figured it out, and this is the Lord of the Rings trilogy. It's, these movies right here, I, I think they're, 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 they're second to none. Uh, Peter Jackson did a fantastic job on The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings just absolutely amazing. I remember seeing these in the theaters. And uh, again, like The Hobbit, I had these on, I had these on uh, uh, DVD, Blu-ray, uh, had them on 3D. I mean, it's just, but this is the pinnacle right here. This 4K Ultra uh, UHD release with the Dolby Atmos soundtrack, it's just, it is, it is absolutely amazing. All three films, uh, to me, uh, The Fellowship just had so much bass in it. It was just unbelievable, especially when they cut the uh, ring off uh, uh, Sauron's finger and he exploded or imploded. That low frequency bass just shook everything. And it was like that throughout the movie, all three movies, just fantastic. So, uh, man, that, 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 if, if there will be a, a, a top two, it would be The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings being number one. Just a absolutely fantastic movie. Did a great job on that. If you hadn't got it, please pick it up, because I'm telling you, it's good. And uh, I know a lot of people do uh, honorable mentions. I will do that. And uh, this is just some that I thought, that, that, that were good, uh, that you just didn't make my top 10. They didn't beat the ones out that I just showed. So, uh, And uh, I had been anticipating this one also, and it was Total Recall on 4K. It is a great movie. They did a, they did a good job on the picture quality, sound quality. It, it was good. It's still, to me, uh, a lot of times when they do these older movies, uh, even though they're doing them at Atmos, they still sound a little dated. And that was kind of like what I got on Back to the Future. So Total Recall was kind of the same way for me, in my opinion. But the picture quality is just, it, it is it is beautiful. So that's an honorable mention there. And uh, just, just a great film. It's a cult classic. I love that movie. And uh, uh, the next one, and I, I just did a video on this. It's an honorable mention. It didn't make my top 10. Uh, it, it probably could have, but there was no other movie that I wanted to move out and stick this movie in. That was Tenet. Tenet, it, it is a beautiful film as far as picture quality. The sound, I'm telling you, I, I, as I stated in my last video, I, I, I listened to my system pretty loud. So by the time this movie got over with, I had a headache. It is bass heavy uh, pretty much throughout. Uh, kind of hard to follow, uh, but that's how Nolan does on some stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm going to watch this again a couple more times. And, and uh, Anyway, it's a great film. Uh, as far as audio and picture quality, it, 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 is, it is really good. Uh, but it just did not make my top 10, but still a good film. If you like Christopher Nolan, I definitely highly suggest pick it up. It's, it, you, you could demo this. It's very good. Uh, the next film, uh, honorable mention, uh, I, I still thought it was a good film. It wasn't as good as the cartoon, and that was Mulan. This is the live-action Mulan. Um, I do not know why they did not put Mushu in this movie. That really just destroyed it for me. Uh, Mushu, which y'all know, was the little dragon, and he was Eddie Murphy's voice. And to me, <laughs> he was the star of, of the cartoon. So why they didn't put him in here as a CG character or something, I, I, I honestly don't know. But I will say this, the picture quality, sound quality of this was really good. Uh, I was impressed. For what it was, it was a good film. Uh, like I said, I, I, try, I try to collect all the, uh, the Disney live action films and uh, as, uh, as they remake them from the cartoons. I, I enjoyed it uh, and I, I thought it deserved an honorable mention. I did not, I did not pay $30 for the... Uh, Disney Plus one, uh, but when this came out on 4K, I bought it, and now you can watch it for free on Disney Plus, when that, and that's fine, but uh, anyway, that is my top 10, and that is my 
three honorable mentions. I could I could have brought more out. I could have had ten honorable mentions, uh, but I only just picked up three. So uh, that's my top ten. That's just my personal uh, opinions on the top ten releases of this year. I know there was uh, there wasn't a whole lot of new movies this year, but there were some that I didn't mention. I know this year has been a, it's been a tough year for everybody, movie studios and stuff like that, movie theaters. It's, it's been tough for, for individuals. Uh, it's probably been one of the worst years for me, but I'm telling you what, this year is coming to an end. And man, I'm telling you what, I'm gonna go out with a bang this year. I wanna start 2021 uh, fresh and anew. And uh, man, I'm telling you, I, I, I'm looking forward to what the future holds. Uh, I know today is Christmas Eve. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and I'll probably have a new video, uh, uh, some new videos out before New Year's. Uh, but I, I really want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and I hope you enjoy the time with your family and uh, we'll see you.